I, I, until you just explained that, you know, it's it, we always think that education is very important for Jews and for Israelis. And uh, and it's like the first time I connected the the fact that we're so into education and, and teaching people from very young age to the fact that it's it's resonating in the solution of turning knowledge into into value actually. Yeah. So actually this was put as a strategy for the government back from the the late 60s, early 70s. And um and uh, it was uh, uh, Chaim Barlev, who was the minister of then uh, trade and industry, who brought in uh, Itzhak Yaakov to become uh, the, the first chief scientist. And he was uh, he had the R&D in the defense before. Um, and uh, that uh, that evolved. It evolved into uh, initially it was just putting R&D in industry. There wasn't the the country wasn't uh, uh, sufficiently well to do to to invest a lot in R and D, so the government started investing, and then uh, that distinguished companies that they had the uh, uh, goals and and was uh, facing uh, outbound the, the the international competition and then export and creating revenues and and income to to the state. Um, and uh, it evolved later, you know, the, the vehicle was used when there was massive immigration from uh, uh, the former Soviet Union to create the incubation of uh, ideas of people who immigrated, but it was open to all citizens. And then programs that connected with, um, uh, with academia, that uh, when you have a question uh, in industry, you can also ask academia to help you solve it. And uh, in between, there were the, the programs that uh, created first the bilateral relationship with the United States. So small companies had support for uh, creating uh, engagements um, uh, with larger companies uh, and export. And eventually, that evolved into venture capital industry that, uh, that was also backed uh, by the government in its first cycle and um, uh, the, the, the first cycle of venture capital firms in Israel had a 30 percent investment of cash money by the government. Um, so so uh, all of it, uh, and, and it had very nice returns. It returned about six x after uh, after the first five years. So, so at, at that time, the government went out of the of the venture capital. So in all in all. Um, the government uh, involvement in creation of knowledge came where the investment in knowledge um, was uh, was excessive relative to what the companies would have gone and done themselves, and um, and this accelerated the market, accelerated also the reputation of Israel, and. Yeah. Um, Many so so those con connections uh, between the different disciplines. Th this is uh, what urges uh, um, uh, urges the economic value of innovation. Uh, innovation exists everywhere. It exists in medicine. It exists, uh, of course, in research, and it exists in resilience. But um, but we are talking about the economical value. And that was part of the, the channel that was uh, initiated by the Alon Katsil, um, uh, you know, committee and, and, uh, and uh, set up. So I know that about in, uh, starting the 80s, the government gave money to the VCs and they invested in high risk startups at the beginning. And I guess that some of them grew and, and, and the entrepreneurs on the second or third trial became more and more successful afterwards so actually the, the 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 was venture capital in israel there was small venture capital in israel uh, like uh, israel is uh, uh, israel uh, discount corporation and and such they uh, had some some money but really the wave of venture capital was uh, uh, formulated in 92 and initiated in 93 and I was lucky enough to be among the first, the first, uh, the first startups that were funded um, later in '93 by by venture capital. 
So, so by all means, uh, some of those venture capital firms invested uh, in uh, entrepreneurs like Victor Villens, who multiple times uh, was an a successful entrepreneur. Um, yeah. there, there, are, there are others who, who did uh, phenomenally well in terms of uh, creating and pushing a completely new concepts into, into the global market, not only to Israel. Do you think that the fact we are surrounded by either C or people who don't like us make us prone to do things bigger from the beginning that maybe in Europe and other countries they are not doing that? Yeah, in, in many places in Europe or in the United States or even in, a, you know, in China and Taiwan, People develop a, a develop a, a products that are first and foremost are con consumed within a 10 miles radius. Uh, we don't have this luxury. Whatever we invest in research and development, we're too small a, a, a market to justify the investment. So consequently, we immediately invest and get, many times we guess the market uh, in order to, to reach the 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 global market.